Hi everyone, Mark from Logify here, and today we're going to take a look at how to customize your Pages tab in the Website Builder. Let's get started. The Pages tab is where you will edit the content of each one of your website pages and order them in the menu. From the main menu, head to Website Builder and then select Pages. Here you will find the list of the pages on the left and the preview of your website on the right. Each time you click on a page from the list, the preview of the right allows you to console the display as a visitor. There, you can select any element in order to edit them. You also have the option of consulting the desktop view or the mobile one, and also each language version your website is available in. If you are just starting with us, you will find in the list a default home page and rental pages with a house icon in order to identify them. In case you have multiple rentals, these will be grouped under the All Properties one. It is important to note that they will be the only ones you cannot edit. This is simply because their content is fed from your rental settings, meaning that we automatically fill them with your rental description, amenities, pictures, and more, so that you do not have to do it. If you need to change anything in this regard, access the main menu again, head to Rentals, and then select the one you need to make changes for. For the home page, you will see that you can select any of the default text in order to edit its content. Same thing about the images. It is as easy as clicking on them. For editing the text in your other available languages, you simply need to select them above. This brings us to the section subject. You will use them to bring life to your unique custom pages. As you can see, we have multiple sections options, such as content, heading, image, or video. We also have more specific ones so that you can meet your advanced needs with the featured properties one or the custom HTML for inputting code. You will find a complete article explaining each one in the description. At the bottom, you will find the section groups. Here you can select different group options such as image and content. If you hit edit for that group, you can resize the sections to your liking. By going back to the pages list, we will find a plus sign next to each menu. This allows you to create new pages. You can create a content page, as the home page we were making changes for, but also link and rental pages, as well as folders. A link page will allow you to insert a URL of your choice, so that when visitors click on that page in the menu, they get redirected there. A rental page allows you to create a specific rental page for any selected rental and information. Imagine that you are fine having the rental contact in the default rental pages that we talked about previously, but that you also want to highlight the rental map separately on the menu. This will allow you to do so. Finally, with the folder, you will be able to create a submenu. Let's say that you are creating a page for each local activity. Horseback riding, boat trip, wine tasting. Instead of having them all occupying a space in your menu, you can regroup them under a folder named activities. This will result in a more appealing and tidy presentation. For each page on the list, you can access the page settings. Here you can edit the page URL and work for the SEO. Do not worry if this doesn't sound familiar. SEO is the science of staying relevant in the web searches. Adding a page title and a description here will help to that. But we also have many other tips in this regard. You will find a dedicated article in the description. Finally, you will see that the pages list is organized in three blocks. Header navigation, which will be the website's main menu on the header, from which visitors will more easily identify the page they want to consult. Then footer navigation, which will be the menu at the bottom of the website. This is very appropriate for pages such as terms and conditions that must be accessible, but not necessarily advertised. And also the not linked one. This one is a very useful hidden menu. The pages that will be under it will not be found by the guest on its own. They won't be able to select them in any menu. However, they will exist. And this allows you to share their links in any of your website content or even social media so that visitors will land on it. You might also want to use this for rental instructions that you will only share with confirmed guests. Remember, all changes done so far will be visible in the preview of your website. But remember to publish the website to reflect all changes in its live version. To publish the website, simply click on the top right green button, publish website, and then hit publish. So this brings us to the end of the video. If you would like us to cover any particular topic, you can let us know in the comments below. In case you have any questions, we will leave our support team information in the description. Don't forget to like the video and give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.